All right, let's uh, have a look at the new curve tool. That's this one right here, the curve tool. Now, before we go in there, let's see what brush we currently have selected. Uh, that would probably be the algorithmic, um, anti-aliased algorithmic pen. That's one of those three here. This one here is the custom brush, this one's the internal brush, and this one's the algorithmic pen. Um, doesn't really matter which one you're using for most of it. Let's see, yeah, let's use this one here. All right, so um, when I go into the curve tool, I get this additional set of options right there, this whole panel. Right? Um, there's the first one here. In fact, let's uh, reset it, let's clear this, start over with a new curve. And there you go. So initially we'll start a curve that looks like, um, I don't know, like uh, a number five. Let's go like this. And the moment you have four points, it will start interpolating them. Now I'm going to go to the to a way here to create a filled number five, a solid. And there's an option here to close the curve. There you go. Now I can also go and grab the existing points, move them. So here's a move points option. And perhaps I'll use it like this. Uh, you can also delete existing points. You can, for instance, delete this one, click this one here as well. And then again, move some of the remaining points like that. So now what do you use a curve for? Curves are used to um, to draw against, you know, to have the the brush going along that. Um, so you can basically do that with the finish area here. Right? Uh, before you do that, you need to decide whether you want that curve to be closed or open. That's this toggle. You see it here, it's closed. Click it again, it's open. There's also another toggle, and that's to whether it's smoothed with the splines moving or whether it's a straight line interpolation, a straight line curve. Um, so let's say we want it this way. Okay, so what I'm going to do here now is uh, have a look at the first finish. That's a stroke a brush along the path. Click that and you'll see the brush that we had so far go along that path. Let's instead clear that and now go to the smooth mode. Okay, and stroke it against that path and there it is. Now there is another way you can use it and instead of doing the stroke where it keeps the current size, have one where it starts small, that will be somewhere around here, gets bigger, 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 and eventually goes back small. So let's clock this. This one is the one we call the painter brush along the path with a brush that changes size. And <coughs> so let's say now you uh, switch to a different brush. Now, for instance, um, let's see what brush we have here. Tempera Rake. Let's go with that one. All right, go back to the curve tool and go along that. And there you go. You can do that several times. And there's a couple of other ways you can use it. You can use the fill tool. When you fill, it will take whatever the current fill parameters are. Now I've played with that a little bit before. You see the fill settings you can change here too. Uh, for instance, you may want the ho gradient to be horizontal. And now you have it going from left to right. Or a circular gradient. And say this far. So there's a couple of different ways to um, to fill it, and there's one more option here we haven't used, and that's the one where we go draw into the alpha channel. So that basically turns it into a selection. And of course, once it's into selection, <coughs> you can do a couple of things with that. Um, you could, for instance, go and, and drop the shadow from it or emboss it, emboss by the alpha channel here, give it a nice little embossed look on top. Um, there is one more that we haven't used here, and that's the animate a brush along the path. So for that, what I'm going to do is actually grab uh, one of those presets from the browse media area, and actually let's grab what this one here, the blotcher with the the beach balls. Right, if you if you paint that, you can see it looks like that inside my selection. Um, if you go without the alpha channel, let's go clear that, and you go back to the curve tool. Now we can go and do the same thing here. We can draw it along that path or paint it along the path where it's going to change shape. But perhaps we want to actually move that ball along as an animation along the path. So instead of doing this into one frame, what we'll do is create an animation. Let's say we want 30 frames. And there it is. That's the option for animate a brush along the path. Let's go do that. So now it's drawing 
the beach ball all along that path and you see it right there you can then go and animate that or you can scrub through that to see exactly what the animation looks like and that's it